Welcome back guys and today I'm going to be tearing down the LG G8X. Let's get into it. Before we begin, we need to do two things. First of all, I'm going to power off the phone. And second of all, I'm going to remove the SIM card tray. Now we can begin the teardown. We're going to start by heating up the back of the phone. After it's been on the heating pad for about 5 minutes, it's time to remove the back cover. We're going to start by using a razor blade to make a gap in between the frame and the back of the phone. This makes enough room so that we can insert this tool and go around the outside of the phone. I did do this a little too quickly and ended up cracking the back of the phone. However, I was already planning on replacing it so it doesn't really matter. Removing the back reveals a pretty typical looking inside. To get deeper into the phone, we're going to first need to remove 15 Phillips screws. With this done, we can now remove the plastic layer. I forgot a screw right here, so let me quickly remove it. If we flip over this bottom plastic piece, we can see the main speaker which is surrounded by blue rubber to make it more water resistant. This is the wireless charging pad. It has a very typical design with six golden connectors attaching it to the motherboard. With that removed, we can now disconnect the battery. We are also going to disconnect the screen, as well as the headphone jack, and the in-display fingerprint scanner. Here's an up close look at the fingerprint scanner. To finish removing the headphone jack, we're going to need to remove another Phillips head screw. Here's an up close look at the headphone jack. I'm now going to remove the front facing camera. With all that removed, we can now take out the motherboard. I'm now going to disconnect the rear camera from the back of the motherboard. Here's an up close look at the dual cameras. You can tell that the left one is the main camera because it's larger and has a stabilizer. The other camera has this very interesting pattern on the back. I'm not sure why they did this.
The motherboard has a very typical shape, which I like to call the L. This design can be found in many other phones, including Apple, Samsung, and Motorola. After reheating the phone, it's time to remove LG's signature charging cable. I call it signature because every other LG phone I've worked on, including the LG G8 and LG V40, has had one, and I assume many others do as well. I'm a big fan of this type of design because it makes it easy for anyone to replace their charging port without soldering experience. Right here is what I believe to be a microphone. You can see that the charging port also has a rubber seal around it to help keep out water. It's now time to remove the battery. I reheated the phone to make this process easier. Here is the 4000 milliamp battery. It's now time to remove the power and volume buttons. Here's what the power button looks like up close. Here is the Google Assistant button, the volume down button, and the volume up button. Here is a close look at how they made the buttons waterproof. They put a thin piece of rubber over the buttons, which means the phone will still be able to sense that the buttons are being pushed while keeping all water out. They did the same thing for the volume and Google Assistant buttons. I also wanted to show you how you can see through the phone screen where the in-display fingerprint reader goes. In this close-up, you can see how the display goes right over the hole. The last thing I wanted to show you is the screen separated from the frame. This reveals a hidden sensor in the front. You can also see the hole that the fingerprint scanner goes through. And for those of you wondering if the screen is interchangeable with the one from the dual screen, the answer is no. The LG G8's ribbon cable is shaped like an L, while the dual screen ribbon cable is just straight. This will conclude my teardown of the LG G8X. If you enjoyed my video, please make sure to give it a like, and feel free to subscribe. If you have any questions, comment them down below. Thanks for watching.